Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 15 where we're taking a look at the fifth of our you astral really summons and it is Bamut the Draconian. Now this takes place at the end of chapter 13 where we finally get to the Lucian Crystal. This is actually where Bamut resides and this is how you get him. So once you approach the crystal, you're actually drawn inside of it to commune with the Draconian himself. Now, Bamut has always been one of my favourite summons throughout the games, simply because he was pretty much unstoppable. He even had three forms in Final Fantasy VII. In this game, he's a more... He's, it's a more human form for uh, for Bamut. He's uh, in a dragoon armor, um, so more of a like a dragon knight. Then in this stage, he still does have his wings, but certainly uh, his, his form is, is more human than it has been in the past. And again, we see Arden coming up to mock our prince, just as he he thinks he's about to to be destroyed and of course we get a bit more of the storyline why Arden is so cold would be the a good way of describing it towards the rest of mankind I gave you my name earlier but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name You'll never guess whose name is in here once. Killing this mortal will bring us satisfaction. Play the crystal's power. Arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are no more. I know redemption. Come back soon. So here within the crystal, Noct has the chance to commune with Bahamut. He provides a bit more information as to where the demons came from, but doesn't go into it completely. The reason for the, the demons was actually brought about by Ifrit, who chose to betray the other six. He brought this plague, which is referred to as the Star Scourge. This is what turns the... The, the people to demons by night now when we're, we're playing through the game you actually discovered that the empire had also been able to convert people into demons and was trying to control them this was actually done of course through Arden who has formed a pact with Ifrit and he's been helping to create these demons, they're the reason the Empire has such a huge army. They're able to control them, put them inside this armor, and they're calling them Magitech Trippers. But of course, they're not. They're actual beings, humans that have been experimented on and have been trapped in a demon form and then trapped again inside this armor that they're able to somewhat control the demons, basically point them in the right direction. Awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophet. 
prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. A man cursed with life eternal, whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the Usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. into reflection, let the light of providence shine within. Bamut here reveals part of his plan, explaining that only the true king can defeat Arden and defeat the darkness. What he doesn't explain is how he's... It wasn't really a true king that was going to come along, it, was, it had to be the right time. The ring that Lucius wears is part of the, the crystal. It was accumulating power, such as like a, a kinetic battery almost. Once it's reached its full potential, then the king can step inside this crystal and the power can be passed on properly to that king. So Noct is the, the king. Unfortunately, the transfer of power isn't instantaneous and what we find out once we have stepped out of the crystal is that 10 years have passed and that now insomnia and the rest of the world have been driven into darkness people are surviving trying to find light wherever they can and fighting demons every moment now is a struggle Arden has let the world fall into chaos Bahamut can only be summoned once and it's during the battle with Ifrit. The first phase of the, the battle is when Ifrit is seated. Um, you take your opportunities when he's not firing fireballs and uh, walls of fire at you. Jump in quickly, get a few hits and get back before you get burnt. Keep repeating this and you will eventually get to the point where a summon icon can be, uh, can be seen on screen. Get back, hit the summon, and call Bamud in. Bamud's attack in this is Ultima Sword. And is absolutely impressive to watch.
And there we have it, folks. That is Bamut. That is five out of our six Astrals. Join me for one more video as we go and take a closer look at Ifrit. Thanks very much for joining me, and I will see you again very soon. Cheers, night. Bye-bye.